fellow Dominicans at home and abroad. In this special season, the words of the prophet Isaiah and the disciples Matthew and John speak to us across the ages. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. The government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Indeed, these passages of scripture resonate with new meaning at this time. They remind us that God is all powerful, that through all the changing scenes of life and all its uncertainties, we need God with us. And that just as the Father gave us his Son, we too must give to each other, give ourselves, and give sacrificially. One could almost think that what the world is going through with COVID-19 is reminding us to get back to these basic and ageless truths of love for one another and living within the favor and goodness of God. This year, as we exchange gifts with loved ones, let us be mindful that God's gift of his only son was the most precious gift of all. And despite all the challenges of the times, in this Christmas season, even as we mourn the loss of loved ones, as we express anxiety about the new COVID variant Omicron, and the many ways in which COVID has affected our families and our way of life, we should reflect on all that we have to be grateful for. We must also place our trust in God who is with us through every difficulty. Another lesson that became more apparent as the COVID crisis deepened across the world and then swept the Caribbean region is the interconnectedness of the human family. No matter where in the world we live, the air we breathe on this planet, the water we use, bring us together as one people. It imposes on us a responsibility to try to stop climate change and to be good stewards of Mother Earth. Equally, it calls on us to reach out to all people with kindness, courtesy, empathy, respect, and without discrimination, as we are all children of the Most High God. As Christians and, and a resilient people whose faith has been tested, we must maintain a positive outlook, stay focused, and press on to what lies ahead. The government of Dominica has been focused on safeguarding livelihoods and public health through an aggressive pandemic response defined by effective disease surveillance, procurement of equipment and services, and a vaccination program rollout, which ensured citizens had quick and equitable access to life-saving vaccines. The government has also cushioned the economic impact of the virus by helping small and medium-sized private sector enterprises continue operations and, very importantly, sustain jobs. In the face of adversity, we are resp responding to the needs of our people with compassion and efficacy to ensure their safety and well-being. We thank those who continue to work diligently on the front line of this battle to protect the health of our nation, our healthcare workers and other staff within the government serv service have distinguished themselves as caregivers and protectors of our collective health in the face of immense and unprecedented pressures. We salute their heroic efforts. We look forward to the new year filled with hope and expectation. 
knowing that this government has sought to keep citizens safe in order to secure prosperous futures for every Dominican citizen. We are proud of our advancements in the health sector, particularly the construction of new primary health care facilities and the acquisition of life-saving diagnostic equipment, investments in the digital economy, and education to empower our youth with valuable skills, and progress in the areas of infrastructure, housing, agriculture, air access, and tourism. I am grateful for our gains and successes over the past year. Conscious of all that is good in our lives and the possibilities which exist to improve circumstances as a people and a nation. The challenge we face require a collective response driven by love, respect, and loyalty to country and people. Let us draw on our successes, renew our commitment to each other and to country, and build for the future. The coming year holds much promise for us all. I'm excited about Dominica's prospects for the year 2022. We will see the creation of new employment opportunities for our youth and the commencement of major infrastructural projects to boost education, communication, air transport, and to drive economic activity. This is critical to moving the country forward and positioning ourselves to grasp post-COVID opportunities and shape the Dominica and future that we want and deserve. We also anticipate the continuation of our housing programs and the completion of health facilities in various communities. As we forge ahead with our development agenda, there is a role and opportunity for every Dominican citizen. Commit to working hard and to the constructive engagement that advances our collective interests. Strengthen your participation in development efforts within your respective communities and nationally and be the positive change you wish to see in our country. Our survival and success as a people and as a country rest on our working together and becoming our brothers and sisters keeper. Over the holiday season, as you try to enjoy yourself and reconnect with loved ones, my wish for you is that you will enjoy this season responsibly and without unnecessary risk. On behalf of my family, the Dominica Labour Party, which I have the honor to lead, and the government of Dominica, I wish every Dominican the joy, the love, the blessings found in Christ, and a new year filled with good health, peace, personal and national prosperity. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless the Commonwealth of Dominica. Merry Christmas to all of you as we look forward with great excitement of the hope for, of 2022 being an even better year because we place our trust and confidence in the good Lord. Thank you. God bless. Merry Christmas again. Thank you.